Better late than never, after facing countless obstacles including firings, rewrites and reshoots, the final season of the Netflix original House of Cards now officially has a release date. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers and a spoiler warning is in effect. This week Netflix dropped the first official poster and with it the release date, House of Cards will officially be crashing down on November 2nd. Longtime fans of the show might find this poster somewhat familiar. Apart from a teaser back in March, the cards have been kept pretty close to their chest. We do know that it will be a shorter season this time around with 8 episodes rather than the usual 13. And of course the season will be focused around Robin Wright's Claire Underwood who took office in the season 5 finale. We're just getting started. On July 4th we got a little teaser of Madam President wishing a happy Independence Day to herself. And since then there have been promo photos being posted on their official Instagram with quotes from seasons 1 through 5, building to another eerie teaser with the release date attached. It will be 18 long months between seasons due to Spacey's allegations and we still have no word from Spacey or his people since October of last year. All that's known is that he's currently seeking treatment in the same sex rehab as Harvey Weinstein in Phoenix, Arizona. After the allegations, according to co-star Patricia Clarkson, Robin Wright was the one that led the charge rallying for the sixth season to go ahead without Spacey. Which is no surprise at all seeing that Wright was always fighting for a higher wage after becoming more of a lead role and now she wouldn't even need to share the spotlight so it was definitely in her best interest. But also I guess in the interest of the other cast and crew who would have been left without work. Clarkson has said that the showrunners did an amazing job rethinking the whole show and she says that we're in for a stunning season. At least we still have the core main cast returning including Michael Kelly, Jane Atkinson, Patricia Clarkson, Campbell Scott, Derek Cecil, Constance Zimmer and Boris MacGyver, as well as some fresh faces such as Cody Fern and a pair of siblings played by Diane Lane and Greg Kinnear. We are still waiting on an official trailer for season 6 but Netflix is known for holding back till late in the game for trailers nowadays. But in the meantime, what are you hoping for in the House of Cards final season? Do you think that somehow they might be able to make it work or is it not even worth trying without Spacey in charge? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments but until next time, this is Matt Rogers and that is all.